Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to this tutorial. So, so far we've done a lot of really cool things with this laser here and the last thing uh, that we can do uh, is change the color of the laser. Okay, so this is actually really easy to do. Let's hop back and we're going to go up to our event begin play here and all we're going to do is we're going to uh, change, uh, we're going to say uh, material material parameter and we're gonna say set vector parameter value on materials okay and we're just gonna simply hook this up here uh, to our event begin play and what is the parameter well the parameter is color now why is it color well it's because I named this particular parameter color that is something that I did I um, I changed it myself so there you go all right, so the parameter color. Now the parameter value here is we can actually make one here. So we'll call this um, laser color, laser color. And of course, we're going to make this a vector. Very easy and very basic. We're going to make that editable to the user. Drag that over here, and there we go. Let's make the original one our 0.01 one and zero so the first one is going to be green no matter what let's compile that here and let's hop back into here so nothing has changed so far okay so let's go ahead and let's do a few of these things uh, let's add in a few of these here so let's kind of just do that here so you know what let's uh, change that here move that over here down a bit and let's make a few of these okay so we got one two three four okay and then let's change this up here so let's make this one point zero one and zero maybe make that the green one and then we'll say this is zero zero and uh, generally you want you know at least one of these uh, 0.01 and then one right and then you know we can add in uh, 1.01 and zero okay so I think that will give you several different laser colors and yeah that looks pretty good I think you know we have these nice lasers here and that's looking pretty good so as you can see, we have all these different lasers here. Let's add in maybe another one here, maybe up a bit. Let's make this one rotating. And then, you know, the rotation speed will be as such here. So if we rotate that here, oh, look at that. Let's hop back in here, make sure that the is rotating is checked. And there we go. So now we have one that's uh, being rotated there. Uh, let's change the laser color added just the one there so we have a nice purple color and there you go so you can see here that that one's rotating and let's kind of move this over here let's rotate this guy uh, down like this okay and you know that way look at this you can kind of see that that looks pretty good and just to kind of prove a point, let's make this 1.9 and then 1. All right, and there you go. You got kind of a white color. Now, one thing that's interesting about all of this here uh, is that when it goes up to the sky, you can see that it's not hitting anything, right? So um, it's because it's not really hitting anything. Uh, and if you wanted to change that, you'd have to maybe even add in a dummy thing up here so that it would hit cuz what it say what the reason why it's not working is because it's not seeing anything there 
So let's do one last thing before we move out of this here. And let's change the intensity to zero. OK, and this is, of course, the light here. And as you can see, things look pretty good. And if I kind of move throughout these lasers here, you can see that the emissive property is indeed working. And if I get hit by this laser, you can kind of see that the emissive property is working. Now, last thing, if you really want to, is you can change this parameter to maybe something like 50. Save it. All right. And then um, let's, let's open this up here. Okay, and then if we do that here, you can see that there, it's a lot brighter. Okay, and there we go. And by the way, let's do one last thing to test this out. All right, move it up maybe a bit more. Is you can change all of these to one. You can change the rotation speed to one each, and then that way it's kind of moving in its own little weird way. Okay. There we go. And that actually looks kind of cool. So pretty much, if you really wanted to, you could even do this, right? I mean, if you if you want, this is actually kind of an easy way to make a level look good without any kind of, uh, well, with minimal work, I would say, right? So there you go. Right, and now look at that. So we got these. I, I, that looks pretty good for for the amount of work that we did. Remember, we didn't really do much work, but we we did some kind of work, and um, and there you go. All right, so that concludes this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to uh, show me your work, please post a screenshot down below. I always look like looking at what people do. Uh, remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the content that you buy below, the more free content, especially like this, that we can make. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, and that is every single month. So if you like this channel, please consider uh, subscribing to Mammoth Interactive's content. We have monthly and yearly options. Our goal is to get to 10,000 monthly subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.